Hi Year 12, this lesson we are going to continue on where we off, left off last day. So if you are higher tier, we're on page 116. If you're a foundation tier, we're on page 69. Now we've got a question right at the bottom of the page. For each of the compounds below, list the elements formed during electrolysis. Now remember from last lesson, when we carry out electrolysis on any compound, that compound will decompose or break down and it will decompose into the metal element and the non-metal element. So if you list with me, for the first one, magnesium bromide, as the name of the compound suggests, it will decompose once electrolyzed into the element magnesium, that's the metal, and also into the element bromine, that's the non-metal. Now the aluminium oxide will follow the same pattern, so it will decompose into the metal element, aluminium, and the non-metal element then, oxygen. The third one then, the zinc chloride will electrolyze and decompose down into the metal element, zinc, and the non-metal element, chlorine. And anything that we decompose by electrolysis will break up like this. Now the example that we've got to consider in our lesson today is the elements of lithium chloride. Now we've got a diagram very similar to the one that we had for the lead bromide. So we're going to add some labels to this diagram. So the first label that we're going to add is on the top left. There is our power supply. And remember that can be a battery or it can be a power pack. Okay, now attached to the positive side of that power supply, we have the positive electrode. And the positive electrode, if you think back to the word panic, PA and panic stands for positive anode. Now, the two electrodes, if you look carefully, are dipping into this liquid. And this liquid is the electrolyte. And because we're using the example of lithium chloride today, we have got some molten lithium chloride. And remember, it's got to be molten to free those ions up to move. Okay, now down at the bottom, we have got a label and this label is really pointing to these ions. Now you'll see that they are the negatively charged ions. And if we think of our example of lithium, well, lithium is the metal. So that would lose the electrons to form the positively charged lithium ion. Chlorine is the non-metal, so therefore that the chlorine would gain electrons to form the negative charged chloride ion. So these ions down at the bottom then are negatively charged chloride ions. And remember that they are attracted to the positive anode because opposite charges attract. Now on the other side of the diagram, attached to the negative side of the power supply, we have our cathode. Now in the word panic, NIC stands for negative as cathode to help you remember that. Now the bottom label is really pointing to these positively charged ions and what we have got then are the positive lithium ions from the lithium chloride electrolyte being attracted to the positively, to the negatively charged, sorry, cathode. Now, we're going to consider then what we would see happening if we were, if we were to electrolyze this lithium chloride. And we're going to explain, consider the cathode first of all. So the first thing that we're going to do is describe what happens. When this electrolyte, this lithium chloride is molten, remember that the ions are free to move. When the electricity is turned on, well, this gets the ions moving and they will move according to their charge. Now, in our notes, it tells us that the positively charged lithium ions, now we could use the word gather, we could use the word collect, anything that means that, at the negatively charged cathode. Now, here, these lithium ions are going to form lithium metal. And what needs to happen is they need to gain 
electrons to form this lithium metal. So lithium ions will be reduced at this cathode to form this lithium metal. And if we think of the word oil rig, that just keeps us right and it reminds us that anywhere electrons are gained, the ion will be reduced. Now the higher tier people then are going to write a half equation to show this reduction process. So these lithium ions gain an electron to form an atom of lithium metal. And this reduction will always happen at the cathode so the metal ions will always be gaining electrons at the cathode to form atoms of the metal element. My observations are really important. So we're going to pop in here that we would see at this cathode this lithium metal being formed. And this lithium metal is a silver grey metal. So a silver grey metal is formed. Now, if we go, now we're going, what's going to happen at the anode. Now, the anode, remember, is positively charged, so therefore the negatively charged chloride anions will gather here. What will happen then is that the chloride ions will have to give up their electrons, and in doing that, they will form a molecule of the element chlorine gas. So when they give up electrons, if we think of our oil rig again, they're losing electrons. The oil and oil rig is oxidation. So these chloride ions are oxidized then to form a molecule of chlorine gas. Now higher tier people are going to need to write a half equation to show this oxidation process. So we will have chloride ions turning into chlorine gas. And remember that chlorine gas is one of those diatomic elements so we're going to need two chloride ions. Now each chloride ion will give up or will lose an electron. So overall then to form this molecule of chlorine gas, we will lose two electrons. And it's worth noticing that chloride ions change into chlorine gas. And that's the non-metal element. Now at the anode, oxidation always happens. So the non-metal ions will always be losing electrons to form the non-metal elements. Now we form chlorine gas, so we'll see this forming at the anode. And again, the observations are really important. So a green pungent gas, that just means it's got a very distinctive smell. A pr green pungent gas, and you'll see the bubbles of that gas forming as well is evolved. Now we've covered the two examples that we need for our GCSE. Sometimes that you might be asked to apply your knowledge. So if you turn the page with me then, can you see in question two that we're asked to write balanced simple equations for the electrolysis of each of the following molten ionic salts and we're going to include state symbols. Now this is going to be work but I'm just going to cover the first example so you get the idea of what you're expected to do. So remember the calcium chloride, this will be the electrolyte what we're going to break down. It will have to be molten so we'll have the state symbol L for liquid. It will decompose and it will form the metal element that will be calcium as a solid and it will form the non-metal element chlorine as a gas. Very similar to the lithium chloride example. Now you're going to finish B and C by yourselves. If we go on to the next page, I'm going to go through question three, but I'm going to leave you to do question four and question five. So for question three, we're told that electricity is passed through molten copper chloride. We're asked to write a balanced symbol equation to show the reaction that will occur. So we have got copper chloride. Remember that's a liquid because we've had to melt it and it will decompose to form copper metal, which will be the solid, and it will form chlorine gas. Now we're asked to write down the ions that are present in copper chloride. Now we will have copper ions, 
and we will have chloride ions. Now we've got to figure out the charge, but remember you've got the periodic table. Copper is listed at the back of the periodic table as a copper 2 plus ion. Chlorine is found in group 7, so therefore atoms of chlorine will gain one electron to form chloride ions and they will have a Cl1 minus charge. Which ions will go to the negative electrode? Well, that's all to do with their charge. The copper 2 plus ions will go there. We're asked for Y and we will say that opposite charges attract. We're asked to write a half equation to show what happens at the electrode. Well, these copper ions will go to that negative electrode. They will gain two electrons. They will be reduced and they will form an atom of copper metal. Final questions to cover. Which ions will go to the positive electrode and why? Well, it will be the negative chloride ions that will go to the positive electrode and the reason is the same because these opposite charges attract. We're asked to write a half equation to show what happens at the electrode. Well, these chloride ions have travelled to this positive electrode. They will turn into a molecule of diatomic chlorine gas. We'll need to have two of them to balance that half equation. Each chloride ion loses an electron, so therefore overall we will have two electrons lost in this process of oxidation.